GM drops the hammer on 2023 Chevrolet Corvette C8 Z06. Everyone, this is absolutely nuts. Let's go. Howdy folks, you on the Seek on the Speed 252 show. Scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and join this awesome community. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Seek on the Speed 252. Definitely smash that thumbs up button right now on any screen that you're on. And also hit that subscribe button, become part of this awesome Seek on the Speed 252 community. All of us would love to have you. Thank you so much for pushing that subscribe button. Yes, my goal is to grow to 30,000 followers by the end of this year. So you will help me with that goal by joining this awesome community. I greatly appreciate you and each and every single one of you. I hope all you guys are doing well. I hope everyone's Corvette is doing awesome. And I hope you are having an amazing Saturday so far. All right, I told you I will bring you the latest and the greatest C8 Corvette information that I can possibly bring you on this channel. And right now, today's news is nuts was unexpected, I was so shocked, and I'm looking forward to giving that information right now. So earlier this year, General Motors North America President Steve stated regarding market adjustment and other dealership practices on their demand vehicles, the Corvette CAZ06, which is the current car we're looking at right now on the screen. You see that Z06 and that wishbone? Yes, this red mist convertible and inside of this accelerate yellow Z06. The letter stated that a small number of dealers has engaged in sales practices that cause negative press and reflect on pulling on GM's brand. There are additional warnings in those emails about selling those who flip the cars to overseas buyers. This is a big no-no coming from General Motors and that can cause original buyers to be blacklisted from buying General Motors products forever. That's a big no-no. Following that release letter, we continue to see dealers charging way above MSRP for the simple fact that they can, as dealers are independent businesses who can charge what they want. As a reminder, this and MSRP stands for suggested, so have a nice day. So let me give you my two cents before I get further into giving you this crazy information. I also want you to leave your comments down below too. So they want the dealerships to stop charging over MSRP because that's a no-no. But the S in MSRP stands for, once again, suggested retail price. So the dealerships can technically do what they want because like I said, they are independent. But in reality, is General Motors really unhappy with those dealerships selling their cars over MSRP? Yes or no? Leave your comments down below on that question. Let me give you my two cents. I'm not going to answer yes and no, I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. So at the end of the day, General Motors are saying, we don't want you guys to sell this car over MSRP because it makes us look bad. But what happened was General Motors increased the price on the Z06 from their end because they figured out that now since people are willing to pay twenty dollars to $30,000 extra over MSRP, heck, why are we charging less for this vehicle? Chevrolet took forever to come out with the pricing of the Z06, right? For numerous reasons. But they also realized that people were willing to drop 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, some even 40,000 over MSRP for the Steam right? So they're like, why are we selling this car pretty cheaply? Well, Chevrolet, the reason why you were selling this car, and I'm not gonna say cheaply, but cheaper than what you was originally um, going to place is because this is an American man's hardworking sports car. And I'm gonna say it right now out of my own mouth. I love the Corvette. I love General Motors. I love Chevrolet. I love the engineers because I have a good relationship with them. I love my dealership because I have a good relationship as well. But the Corvette is no longer a hard working man's car. That is it. When it comes down to the Z06 and anything probably after that, it is no longer a hard working man's car. It is up there with the rest of the vehicles like Lamborghini, Ferraris, because brand new you can get a Z06 that are around the same price as a used Lamborghini and a used Ferrari, depending on how old you get, how many miles you get, how far you go back. But it's also hard to get on those lists now for the Z06. Leave your comments down below if you think the Corvette C8 is still one of those vehicles that is affordable by the hardworking people. Last Friday, we heard that General Motors may be taking a carrot stick approach to customers by offering them $5,000 
and my Chevy reward points for buyers who keep their Z06 for 12 months. The points are good for financial payments on General Motors, finance vehicle parts, accessories, and dealership service visits. I surmise that General Motors may need a bigger carrot as a flipper can make three or four or times the amount of selling their vehicle early. Recently, in the news that General Motors sent out earlier to dealers on Friday, when vehicles are quickly resold, particularly by unauthorized dealers or other resellers that do not adhere to General Motors standards, the customer experience suffers and General Motors brands are damaged. Well, General Motors, I love you, but you can say that your brand was damaged, but you also increased the price on the Z06 because you know that people are actually are paying on the MSRP for the Steam Right. I originally believe the price for the Z06 MSRP was going to be anywhere between $85,000 to $95,000. I never expected it to be $106,000 whatsoever. So here's the big news. To help slow down those flippers, General Motors will be limiting the transferability of the Z06 warranty and will bar the flipper from being able to place sold orders on future General Motors vehicles if they sell their Z06 within the first 12 months of ownership. I'm going to be honest, I would love a Z06. I want one for my channel, I want one for my audience, and I want one to experience my first ever Z06. So if I can afford one, if I get my hands on one, I don't have any desire to sell it. But it sucks that General Motors are now trying to put rules in place to keep people from spending their hard-earned money on a vehicle that they bought, but they can't actually put rules in place for the dealerships to keep them from flipping the cars. Because so I guarantee you there's going to be some dealerships that I'm going to make a video about maybe tomorrow because tomorrow is my birthday, so I don't know if I'm gonna make a video yet, but I love talking to you guys and I made up making this video tomorrow that they're not putting anything in place for the dealerships, but they're putting things in place for people who work hard to buy these products. What if people say, hey, you know what? We ain't gonna buy the Z06, we're gonna boycott it. You can't tell us what to do with our Z06 in the first 12 months that we pay for it, our hard earned money. Leave your comments down below on what you guys think on that comment from General Motors that if you sell your Z06 within the first 12 months, you will not be able to buy a future product from General Motors. What's your guys' thoughts on this? I would love to know your thoughts on this. Literally leave your comments down below about General Motors saying within the first 12 months, you cannot sell your Z06 or flip it because you can actually lose an opportunity to buy future General Motors products. But here's the thing, there are so many things to the plot. What if somebody's family member passes away and they need to sell the car because they need to pay for somebody's funeral? What if somebody can no longer actually buy the car or afford the car so they actually sell it because of those reasons? What if, you know, hardships, things happen with the economy and they need it for those reasons? What if they have medical issues and they need it for that reason? There are so many reasons why somebody could buy a product early on thinking they're gonna keep it for a long time and end up selling it outside of not flipping it. So if that's the case, what you do in that case? Do we sign an agreement saying, hey, like we got this other car for X, Y, and Z? Leave your comments down below. But this is a really pretty situation to talk about in the sense of, you know, if you actually work hard for this car and you decide to buy this car, you technically should be able to do what you want with it. But at the same time, there's other reasons that can come into effect to why someone may end up selling their vehicle. I love General Motors. I do. I love Chevrolet. I do. I love the engineers a lot. Um, I talk with them pretty regularly about things that are coming up in the future that they can actually talk about, which they can actually talk about in any email to anyone. And I just love having genuine conversation and their respect for building this vehicle. But I love all of you guys as well. So I'm going to bring you the latest and the greatest information. And I hope that whoever decides to get the Z06, all I can say is, you need to let me come out there and do a review on your Z06. I don't care what spec, I don't care what color, come out. I want to see a nice Z06, and I want to do a review on your vehicle. With that being said, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button on any tab of the screen that you're on. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next video. My birthday is tomorrow, so thank you everyone for the early birthday wishes, and I appreciate each and every single one of you.